Okay, my yearly hunting, uh, what I bring, what I bring out with me. Um, so, start from the left, seat pad. I don't like sitting on the, the, uh, anything that gets my butt wet. Uh, my hat, which you've seen in our videos. My wool gloves with cotton inside. Um, I do this so my fingertips don't get cold, but I still have some tactile feeling in them. I got a Garmin Rhino 120, which my father-in-law also has. It lets us map where we are. Uh, this here I'm carrying my Michael Morris knife with me. I had this custom made last year. And then I have a uh, pen. Field and Stream, very cheap uh, fanny pack. And I have rope in my one beverage pocket. I keep water in my other beverage pocket. Some jerky and snacks in this pocket. Um, starts the day full, ends the day less full. Uh, a buck call that I occasionally use, but not too often. Spare batteries for the Rhino. I usually use rechargeables, which I'm keeping over here in these little uh, containers. But I keep some backups here in case I need them. Um, in this pocket here, the sock is strategic keeps spare bullets from making any noise. Uh, depending on what I'm using, I have uh, my Weatherby or 44, and these are not the right spare bullets. Um, see if I got one in here. There we go. Hollow points for hunting. Um, in the main pocket, I tend to keep extra gloves. Um, face mask, and that's about it. Like I said, this pocket has batteries. And that's about the end of that one. I have my binoculars in this pocket. Uh, this pocket has more spare batteries, and this one's for beverage. When I go out in the morning, it's cold. I like this. It's a balaclava. You can wear it as a hat. You can wear it as a turtleneck. You can bring it right up on your face. I have a couple different models of this. Um, since I, start, I started using these years ago, I love these. Uh, and we're going to pan around. So on the front, uh, this year I have my Colt Anaconda 44. Again, Hollow points. In the back is a Weatherby Mark V uh, and Weatherby 300. That's a Weatherby 300 round. To give you a comparison, this is a 223 uh, round. So they both move at about the same velocity. Um, that has a 180 grain bullet, that has a 69 grain south point. Um, I have taken deer with that one on the right. Um, everything I've ever hit with one of these has fallen over dead. It never moved, never did anything. It's been very quick. Um, yeah, I can't say enough good things about that, that Weatherby 300 round. Um, on the right here, this is a field box I always take out with me. Cleaning rag, some uh, scent hangers, which I don't tend to use very much anymore. Uh, my old Gerber knife, which I like, but I'm not carrying with me this year. I've had this knife for years and years, back when Gerber used to make Key West made blades. Um, it holds the bed really nice and it's serrated, so when you want to go through up to the rib cage, this does a very good job. Um, like I said, I haven't been carrying this one this year. Um, I still have two AR-15 five round mags. Uh, I'm not bringing the AR-15 out this year for no particular reason. I still have shotgun shells, even though I'm not bringing a shotgun. A uh, bunch of spare 44 rounds and whether it be 300 rounds. These are empties, but there are yeah, live ones in the back here. These are all reloads my dad did years ago, and I'm going to need to do, need to do a new batch soon. Uh, the reason I'm not carrying this is I also happen to have uh, this Michael Morris belt knife I carry with me. Um, so I, I like to have two knives on me when I go out. Um, 
I had this one made this year. I had the other knife made last year. Um, I carry this one over. It's my uh, Arena carry knife. Um, yeah, it's, it's a sweet little blade. Puts in your hand nice. And it fits right in your belt. And it's out of the way. Um, I also carry a little uh, flashlight out with me. This is by. Um, I don't remember who. As a coast. I got it at Home Depot years ago. What I like about it is it has a red light and a white light. So I can use the red light when I don't want to lose my night vision in the morning. Uh, it's a very nice little flashlight for what it cost. Um, I also carry uh, my Springfield Armory uh, XDM45 with night sights uh, as an ultimate backup. Uh, it sits in my uh, inside the waistband holster and is you know there if I need it. Uh, yeah, I have some rope in my coat and paper towels uh, and that's about it. That's my total hunting gear that I take out with me. Um, yeah, boots this year are Danner's which I had last year and I, sooner or later I'll get around to doing the review on my several sets of Danner boots that I, I like every pair of them. So yeah, that's my that's my gear. Well, there we have it. Um, last week I actually didn't take three deer. I watched through a scope about the same size as this, maybe a little bit bigger. Second week I was a little bit less picky. So yeah, this little guy came. Uh, it was. We got down here yesterday, and uh, this was all green, and the lake effect snow started, and uh, when he came with a, a sister or brother, a little, another little one, it was snowing pretty good, and I decided, uh, you know, I had about a minute to think about it, they, they sat there and they sat there too long, and you start thinking about, uh, well, what if it's the last one I see for the season, so, yeah, I... Pulled the trigger. It was a straight on shot, which I don't like taking. Went right to the chest, blew the heart to pieces. And uh, there, she, there he is. Uh, we'll butcher him ourselves. He's not too big. So we're going to take care of him this week. And I'm actually thinking about doing the hide and seeing how that works. The worst case is I throw the hide out if it doesn't work out well. I'm going to try doing the brain tanning and see how that goes. Um, if we do it, uh, of course, I will video it. But it'll definitely be a non-instructional video because I'll be learning what I'm doing from reading and all that. So I haven't got a clue what I'm doing as far as that goes. But this guy is only about a year old. Just little spikes. Well, we're going to come out next weekend and the weekend after. Uh, I'll be pretty picky on what I take because I already have something to put in the fridge. Um, I'm probably going to can on some of this. My father-in-law wants to run the pressure canner, so... We'll, uh, we'll can this up, some of it. Um, but all the meat's good. I, the shot was straight through the center of the chest and uh, didn't ruin anything. So I took this with the Weatherby 300 at, uh, at 30 yards. They came right behind me within about 15 feet. And uh, because of the wind, I couldn't hear anything. I turned around, they jumped, they ran, they stood there for about a minute looking at me. Um, they stood there for too long. So. Yeah, it keeps my streak going. I think I'm on about eight seasons now with something in the freezer. It's good to get something in the freezer. So, until next time, thanks for watching.